Here we go. This is the rice cooker. Russell Hobbs, 1.8 liter. So yeah, you get this thing for it. That goes like a steamer thing. I'm not using that right now. You get like a little cup measuring thing for rice. And you get a little... Uh, there is somewhere measurement. Essentially, it's one to one for your, let's say, long grain rice. So one cup of rice, one cup of one cup of uh, water. But you also have these. These have these numbers as well that you can sort of corresponding amount. If you put four cups of rice, then you put it up to the four cups of water and so on. So this is three cups of rice. I always wash the rice and rinse the rice quite well before cooking it. There you go. Rice is rinsed. One, two, three. And I put all of a little bit more. So this time I'll simply just do the white rice without anything else. You can add, uh, you know, you can put chicken stock, you can put other wedges in it at the same time and blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna do your regular rice, some salt. Let's always do that anyway. And I suppose you could put some oil or something, but I think I'll just stick to salt and water for now. Mix it up a little bit. Make sure it's all straight up, level I mean, alright, alright, so here are the buttons, the bottom one is to cook the rice, the top one is to keep it warm, so warm, it switches over automatically from cooking to warm, you have to turn on the, turn on the thingy here, yeah, power is in, and now it's keeping it warm, but we set it to cook. And that's it. Now it just cooks. It's been about, what, five minutes or so. It's doing stuff. It's blowing steam here. Sometimes it has a bit of a tendency to come out of this hole. So far it hasn't done that. Maybe it matters about, you know, how much you put in and whatnot. Well, while this is happening, you know, doing other stuff. Here, this is what, this is when it sort of starts going out a little bit. I haven't really had too much issue with it. You just put some tissue or something around it if you're really worried but yeah that's it so it's done but as it's keeping it warm now automatically but i always recommend keeping the lid on for at least 10 minutes after it's done and then after 10 minutes fluffing it up a little bit meanwhile doing other stuff all right so i'm done cooking the other stuff i just left it be until i'm pretty much done cooking let's see how it looks when i open it up i haven't lifted it up but i would definitely recommend after it's done and it's still sort of keeping warm to let it at least sit for another 10 minutes well as you can see there is nothing burned at the bottom which is quite nice it's pretty easy just to put this chop veggie bees and do everything else while the rice is cooking and when it's cooked it just keeps it warm when it's ready it's good to go